Hello everyone, I'm Gemma Peters, I'm Chief Executive of Blood Cancer UK and I wanted to say Happy New Year first of all to everybody. Um, I'm a little bit late, as some of you know I contracted Covid over Christmas, I got my first symptoms on Boxing Day and really, well to be totally honest, I'm, I'm still not quite right although I'm uh, pretty close to normal now, I'm feeling much better than I have been but that's my excuse for uh, being a little bit late with this message. There, there were a couple of things I, I wanted to say. First of all, I know that anxiety levels again are rising as we see really sadly the numbers of hospitalisations due to COVID-19 and the pressures on our health service increasing um, and we're kind of watching with bated breath in the hope that the lockdown is bringing at least the numbers of people contracting the virus down. Um, but it's so important for us to spread the message to people about continuing to follow the guidance and to, wherever possible, uh, stay away from people and to assume that we uh, could ourselves be contagious and that the people we're talking to are people or interacting with are people who might be particularly vulnerable because that's the only way we're going to get that infection break down and, and, you know, that's vital and it's vital that people in our community talk about why it matters so much because we feel it and know it more than almost anybody else. Um, and vaccines, we've got the hope of vaccines now, you know, vaccines being delivered, thousands and thousands of vaccines every day, which obviously is great news and um, we're really delighted by that with new approvals of new vaccines still even coming through as, as I speak. Um, I think we've sort of had a growing realisation, haven't we, that that's not going to mean life back to normal post a vaccination. Um, it does mean we can be a little bit more confident and a bit less fearful and that we can feel we're moving a bit closer to where we need to be, uh, which is good. It's super important, particularly for people who are immunocompromised, that you make sure you're on the list to get the vaccine and that involves um, just checking with your GP if you're not sure if you're on the shielding list. So uh, some of us were worried about getting shielding letters earlier on. I know other others of us weren't because we felt we didn't really need one, we were okay. But you do need one to make sure you're in the priority list for the vaccine where you should be. And obviously we've campaigned hard to get people with blood cancer further up that list. Um, but, but we're hearing on the support line all the time there are still some challenges with that. So please do take the time to check in and uh, check you've got that. And obviously, as you know, at any time, if any of our support services, whether it's the online community, or whether it's our telephone line, or whether it's some of the direct email uh, services can be helpful for you, then please get in touch. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.